Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, my sister uh, Atikacha uh, asked me to uh, to pray for the uh, the pastors in the Philippines. So that's what we're going to do um, uh, today uh, to pray for all the the pastors in the Philippines. We have a God who is all powerful, a God who answers prayer. Uh, all we have to do is just ask. You said, "Ask uh, uh, in my name, and you will receive, and your joy uh, will be complete." So that's what we're going to do uh, today to pray uh, for all of them. But before we pray, um, um, uh, let me ask my son uh, Joshua uh, to give us a song. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay, let's bow our head, let us pray. Join me in uh, 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 prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this beautiful, beautiful morning. Thank you, Lord, for... being our God who's always there for us. Thank you, Lord, for the life. Thank you, Lord, that we can rest our body. Uh, but Lord, um, uh, we come to you to ask for a special prayer, Lord, for all the pastors in the Philippines. But first, Lord, we honor you. We believe, Lord, that there is a God who is all-powerful, a God who is all-knowing, a God who is everywhere, a God who answers prayer, a God who can heal. And you told us, Lord, to just ask, simply ask, and we will receive. You told us, Lord, when we ask, we must believe and not doubt. Because, Lord, if we doubt, we will not receive anything. So, Lord, we have a small faith that can move mountains. Because it's not us who will move the mountain. It is you, Lord, who has the power. You are almighty God. Your hand is powerful. So Lord, uh, uh, thank you for answering our prayers this morning. So Lord, we're bringing you all the pastors in the Philippines. First Lord, we pray for wisdom. Because, Lord, without wisdom, we cannot really do anything. And, Lord, I know that it's very, very hard, Lord, to speak, to teach, to preach, Lord, to your people. And, <clears throat> Lord, without your anointing, without your wisdom, Lord, we are nothing. We cannot really do anything without you. So, Lord, I pray for all of them that you will give them the wisdom that they need so that, that every time they stand, every time they speak, Lord, your words will be uh, 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 work uh, powerfully through uh, uh, to the church that they are serving. Lord, I pray also, Lord, for uh, uh, provision, especially right now, Lord, that there is no uh, uh, with this pandemic, this coronavirus, all of them, Lord, uh, uh, they're in their homes. And Lord, where where are they going to get their food? Where are they going to get their needs uh, 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 for their family, for their children, for themselves? So, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will provide for them. Lord, you told us, Lord, to look at the birds, look at the lilies of the field. Lord, if you provide it for them, then, Lord, you will provide for all of them. I pray, Lord, that it will be like uh, 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 Elijah. Lord, that you sent uh, a raven, Lord, to, to feed him uh, when he was hungry. So, Lord, I pray, Lord, you will send uh, people uh, 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 to help them, to provide for them. But, Lord, our eyes are upon you. You're the only one, Lord, who can help them. You're the only one, Lord, who can provide for all their needs. Lord, I pray for their family. I pray, Lord, for their wives. I pray, Lord, for their children. Protect them, Lord. Guide them. Support them. I pray, Lord, also for their faithfulness in you. I pray, Lord, for the purity of heart. Lord, without walking, Lord, in faithfulness, in purity, Lord, in their lives. Lord, their ministry, our ministry, Lord, will be nothing. But Lord, when we walk with you, then we walk, Lord, in power. We will walk, Lord, uh, 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 in your presence. So Lord, I pray, Lord, that they will walk humbly before you every single day of their lives. Protect their heart, protect their eyes, Protect their lives, Lord, by your presence. Lord, I pray also, uh, uh, if there's anybody, Lord, uh, who are in trouble, who are in pain, who are uh, need help, then Lord, I pray, Lord, 
for the power of your hand. Touch them. Like Brother Kevin, Lord, uh, uh, um, I saw in the internet that he had a pro he has a problem with his eye. Then Lord, bring complete healing, Lord, to him. One time, Lord, he asked for prayer for his asthma. And Lord, I saw like uh, Brother Sonny. Lord, he, he, he is sick and he couldn't do uh, his devotional uh, 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 time for the people, for you. So Lord, bring complete healing, Lord, to them. He said, Lord, in Jeremiah 17, 14, Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. Lord, you said in Micah 7, 15, You said, Lord, I will do mighty miracles for you. So Lord, touch them. Nothing is impossible for you. One touch from you, and they will be healed. Thank you, Lord, for healing them. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers today. Lord, to those who are weak, strengthen them. Those who are lonely, bring comfort, Lord, to all of them. And someday, Lord, someday, we will receive the crown of life that you promised to all of us. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers this morning. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.